In the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, locals are still doing their part to try and help those most impacted. Our Jack Bozikas was at the Midwest Food Bank in Morton today to see how volunteers are helping Floridians 800 miles away. The Midwest Food Bank in Morton packaging boxes Monday to send relief to those struck by Hurricane Ian. Over 300 volunteers have gathered at the Morton facility weekly since the storm hit. They're preparing boxes of food and cleaning supplies for those most in need in Florida. We have an assembly line set up and so each person is working in front of a station and they, add, they know the products to add into the box and then they scoot the box down the line and by the time it gets here to the end it's fully packed and ready to, to be wrapped and on the pallet and ready to be shipped out. Packaging non-perishable items like peanut butter, soup, rice and even some candy just to lift spirits. Once completed and ready to go, the boxes then get put on a pallet and sent to Florida with the help of the Salvation Army. Each box is designed to help feed a family for a few days. Uh, so we are really trying to think about a family and a household and what they would need in a time of disaster. Carrie Stalter volunteers with her kids to help those in need, but also to teach her children an important lesson. We are trying to teach the kids the importance of sharing and giving and that we can't always have everything we want. Um, and that a lot of people don't have things, especially after the hurricane. It seems like there's a lot of people that have been helping out during the hurricane, and I want to teach them that they can be part of that, too. To find out what you can do to help those affected by Hurricane Ian, visit our website, ciproud.com. In Morton, Jack Bozikas, WMBD News.